The regulator neutral detector, or RND as it is commonly called, is designed to allow the user to determine if a regulator is in the neutral position prior to bypassing. This is necessary to prevent undue stress on the regulator. The RND has V-shaped electrodes to allow easy contact between the source and load conductors at the top of the regulator. Caution must be used not to connect the RND between one of the high voltage conductors and the neutral or any other grounded surface. The universal fitting allows the RND to be attached to any standard insulated universal pole. The off on switch has three positions, off, on, and on with backlight. This enables a user to read the meter in poor lighting conditions. The meter display also has an indicator to tell when the battery is low and needs to be replaced. The battery used is a standard 9 volt alkaline battery. The R&D electrodes will accept a large range of conductor spacings. It is self-centering and the display is located between the electrodes allowing the operator to see both connections and the meter simultaneously. A slight rubbing of the conductors is sometimes necessary on heavily oxidized conductors to obtain the maximum accuracy. After an initial reading, in this case 150 volts, is taken, the operator can determine from the chart the approximate number of steps from neutral that the regulator is currently in. A chart is included in the instruction book for reference purposes. These values will vary with the input voltage and regulator loading, but show the relationship of the voltage at different steps for different voltage regulators. From the third column in the chart, we see that the initial reading of 150 volts for a 7620 volt regulator would most closely match the voltage of 143 in the chart, which correlates to the third step. There is approximately 48 volts per step for this size regulator. The regulator we are testing is indicating 150 volts. If this is in fact the third step, we are measuring 50 volts per step on our regulator. The operator will now operate the regulator one step in the direction the regulator controls indicate is towards neutral. If no indicators are available, he will operate the regulator one step in the direction most likely to be towards neutral. The correct direction is confirmed by taking a second reading with the R&D. The reading should be less than the first and by the amount indicated in the chart. When taking our second reading, we notice the reading has been reduced from 150 volts to 100 volts, indicating the regulator was stepped in the proper direction. It also verifies that the step size is 50 volts. We know that we now have two steps to go to arrive at neutral. The operator will now operate the controls to step the regulator in the same direction two additional steps to arrive at neutral. In this case, the R&D agrees with the regulator indicators. Neutral is indicated by the step indicator at the top and the light on the front of the control panel for this regulator. In the absence of these, or if these are suspected, the R&D can be used to verify the neutral position. When the regulator is in the neutral position, the R&D will indicate very nearly zero. Occasionally, a reading of 1 or 2 volts will be indicated due to the electric field and the contact resistance between the conductors and the R&D. If a higher reading is obtained and rubbing the conductors to get a better contact doesn't improve the reading, the regulator may not be in the neutral position. The regulator should be stepped one more step to verify that it was in the neutral position and then return to neutral before any switching is done.